Hey, what's up guys? Raspberry Pi made easy here. And today we're diving into how anyone can start using a breadboard for their electronics projects. Whether you're looking to operate your first LED or build a mini robot, understanding a breadboard is step one. So let's get right into it. You can think of a breadboard as your playground for prototyping electronic circuits. No soldering is required, which means you can insert components and pull them out like Le lego pieces super useful for testing out ideas before making them permanent let's talk about setting up components you can place parts in series or in parallel putting components in series means that they are con connected one after another it's like a single road connecting several towns electricity flows through one component to get to the next but parallel does like having a separate road to each town electricity flows through multiple paths simultaneously so each component operates independently here's how you can start first identify the continuous strips on the sides those are your power rails connect your battery positive end to the red line and negative to the blue line this is your power source setup for watching folks if this video helped in any way smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech content if you have any questions drop them in the comments below